welcome back to my channel this is queen sugar so today i'm going to do a quick video just to get an update about the divine's masculine's energy before we close out the year 2019 so i will use my love and romance journey cards and then i'll clarify with the tarot deck but we're just going to get a little insight about what's their current energy and if there's any obstacles or blocks and like their next moves towards you or just towards the connection in general so take this video as it resonates, leave the rest behind if there's parts that don't connect to you or relate to your situation. But let's see, what is the Divine's Masculine's current energy? So we have wounded. What are current obstacles that they're facing? We have abandonment. And then what are their next moves towards the Divine? feminine their divine counterpart or like the connection overall we have wow we have marriage <laughs> okay so let's talk about their current energy so we have the wounded card here so the divine masculine is realizing that one they are wounded themselves but also they have probably wounded their divine feminine their divine counterpart it seems they know that they may have not shown up in the, their life the way that they should have. Um, and I feel like this is just behaviors that they have experienced. Um, I'm kind of getting as a child, just with the abandonment card here. Sorry about that, my video shut off, but let's continue with the reading. So now we're gonna um, just talk a little bit more about their current energy. So we have the Six of Cups, which talks about like past lives, childhood um, memories. And then we have the Ace of Cups. And I get the Ace of Cups here kind of reflects on the self-love. So it definitely seems like in their past as a child and just like past experiences that they didn't receive the gentle approach, the gentle touch that they needed to receive. And that played a huge role in like their self-esteem and like how they handle new relationships and and just partnerships with people, whether that's friends or just family, um, romantic partners. And so it seems like, especially with the full moon that just passed, that energy was talking about clearing out and getting rid of things because we're going into a new decade. And so they're experiencing the old pain and old wounds from their past and it's having them sit and reflect on it now and it, it seems like it's challenging just because of the fact that they probably thought like oh I, I thought I got rid of this or I thought I I healed from this but in reality they're still dealing with it and this time is a little hard for them and so with the obstacles we have abandonment so like literally they're reflecting on and thinking about the times where they felt abandoned and then also the times they have abandoned people because we know the saying hurt people hurt people and it's true because when you see something you know growing up as a child or if you see constantly you're gonna constantly you think it um is something that you're supposed to do or there's something you're supposed to allow and so they're learning and seeing that that abandonment that they experienced wounded them and it shaped them in a way where they possibly have abandoned you at times or they abandoned the connection or they just they run away from certain things because they don't know what else to do sometimes. So let's clarify. Lots of cards. I'm going to put these back and then shuffle them again and when they come out, they come out. So we have the Hierophant and then the Emperor. So what I'm getting from these is that they probably felt that abandonment from their father figure. Someone, um, so it could have been a father, an uncle, grandfather, some type of man in their life wasn't present. And that played a huge role in their life. And that lack of presence caused them to feel abandoned, caused them to feel wounded. And so they are doing those things that they 
saw that person do to them. So if they were used to abandonment and people were just like ghosting and disappearing, that's what they're doing because that's what they're used to. That's what they experience and that's all they know. But it seems like that they don't want to be in that energy anymore because they know that they are hurting people in it when they do that. And then when we have like the next steps, like moving forward in the connection towards you, we have marriage. I feel like this is just indicating that they know if they want a happy, healthy relationship, they can't do this anymore. They can't sit in this energy. They can't be that person that the person that abandoned them was to them. They can't do that. And they want, they want a happy ending. They want to be with you. They want to be with the person that is meant for them. And so they know that they have to step it up and, you know, heal and break cycles. We have the Seven of Pentacles talks about investment. They have to invest. They have to put the work in for their healing. So they have to break cycles. They have to, you know, do the, the inner healing work that needs to be done. They can't just expect things to just work out if they don't do anything about it. But also they want to invest in a connection that is healthy and that doesn't, you know, become something that they abandon. They want to literally invest and be a part of it. Literally, Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles talks about like hard work and putting in, you know, the diligence and the, the focus and attention into it. So they want to invest and put the work into it. They want to work hard on it. That's what I'm getting. And then the Empress, look at that. Because they know that you are the Empress. They know your worth. They know your value. And they know that they need to invest and do the things that are needed to manifest something that is healthy. Something that is long term and stable that won't be destroy because someone abandoned the connection is what I'm getting so I think that this period of time the divine masculine is doing a lot of reflecting a lot of healing a lot of um purging the word purging is coming out so there might be some distance between you two because they're purging and when someone is purging it is best to like not interfere with them as much you know um in a sense of don't overstep your boundaries just because they're they're sensitive and emotional and even you might be experiencing the purging as well and the cleansing. And usually when we purge, we're like very sensitive because we're bringing up stuff that we thought we buried or we thought we got rid of. And it's going to be emotional and very, you know, sensitive for us. So it's important to one, um, give them their space and their time to do these things. So that doesn't mean like you have to sit in the corner and just wait for them to talk to you, but more so like live your life, wish them well, send them peace and love. And then just allow them to heal and allow them to grow. And you also do the same. You heal and you grow. And if you two come together, you know, soon, then that's great. But it definitely seems like they know your worth and they know that this is um, a connection that they want to invest in and truly have and, and experience true love is what I'm hearing. Okay. So this was just like a really quick check-in just to see where the Divine Masculine's heads at in their energy. So I hope this resonated with those that were able to connect with the reading. Um... Yeah, this was just like something Spirit wanted me to do like on the spot. So I just did it. So I hope this was helpful for those that watched the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace, love, and light.